Hi guys, I'm back again with another in Unity tutorial. Again, we're going to be working on the camera. Hopefully, that's going to be the last tutorial uh, on uh, that, that we're talking about this camera. And then, well, I hope you guys find it useful. Um, by the way, if you enjoyed these videos, please subscribe and click the like button. Uh, also, what are we gonna do? So, right now we have the camera looking where we're going and being on the top and um, behind, uh, well, it's on the top of the player, but it could be, um, uh, well, it is actually. We could have it like this. Let's see, we're right on top of the player, but we're looking ahead of the player because um, yeah, we are that way we see more of what we have ahead, which is usually where you're going, and that's what you want to know. You want to know what you have in front of you, not what you have behind, and so that you can plan ahead better. Okay, so that's cool. Um, now. The thing is, we want to change the camera position from that one to something more. Uh, yeah, whoops, I came to this. Something more like this, right? Where we see it's zero, and yeah. How about minus 10? No, minus 10 is 6. Um, 8, yeah, something like this, right? Where you see the tank in front of you, you you kind of have a, like a third-person perspective. So let's actually do this. What if we put a ten? Put a ten. It would be. Um, I don't know if you'd like it better with eight or ten. I think I like it better with ten. Yeah. And yeah, it's forty-five. For, I don't know forty degrees. It, Actually, we're gonna be looking at some point ahead, so yep, yeah, we'll see. So, yeah, this is gonna be the opposite from the player. Um, so let's just set it. It's gonna be a 10 and minus 6. And the uh, opposite ahead is, yeah, let's place like a um, 6. Let's see, uh, let's see how this works. Yeah, seems like uh, it's working fine. Yeah. So it's cool, but there is something weird. Like, uh, what happens here? We are so. It is even more obvious if we do something like this. The more you, um, so we can have a less stiff. This feels better. I mean, this is like um, we have done a uh, loser spring pump system, right? It kind of you can go further away from the tank, and the tank can go. But the problem is that we this is going to mean maybe this could be okay, but definitely this is not okay because we're looking down, and that's that's not nice. I mean, I think we can always use this, something like that, and then we have this problem where we're not seeing the the tank. And if we put it like this, then we don't see the tank either, so we have a problem here. We like um, a little bit these, but maybe it's even going a little bit too far the tank. But we don't want the. We don't want. I mean, we like how this is moving. It's not too. Um, it's very loose, particularly when you're moving a little bit. It's okay. Moves. It gives you the impression of I am really moving. Oh, I'm moving a little bit. Oh, I'm moving. I mean, I wouldn't use this for a tank, but uh, it's gonna be useful for uh, our um, 
for uh, example for what we want to showcase in this in this uh, in this class so as you can see by the way the uh, aiming system is still working which is cool so uh, the thing is it is moving and we are sometimes going too far behind and, going and looking down which is something we want to avoid so how are we going to avoid this we're going to put a um, maximum distance that we can go from the ideal offset of the um, of the camera so basically we're going to be constraining the movement of the of this of the spring dump system to a sphere that's good that's good so um before we do that i'm gonna i'm gonna be doing some um some debug drawing which is gonna help us understand what we're doing okay actually i've been keeping this ideal position for a while and we're not using it we could, it could be a local variable here the reason i've been keeping it is because um i want to show it i want to show it in the in the debug draw that we're gonna be drawing so let's use this let's do an on draw gizmos so um we're gonna be uh, drawing a small let's make it green for instance and we can control a, a small green sphere draw wire sphere where the uh, ideal position is And this is going to be um, ideal position and uh, radius of 1, for instance. We're going to no point 75, so let's see. And then we're going to be uh, drawing the blue uh, a line with the current velocity. Sometimes you need to scale things uh, like the uh, velocity uh, to, to see it better. And yeah, we, maybe we will scale it a little bit four times it. So uh, let's, with these two drawings, we'll be. Let's let's draw this first, and we will see. So, if we uh, put the camera, sorry, if we put the tank here like this, you see there is a green all around the ideal position, which is where we are at now. But if we move, do you see? There is oh, let's go back there. See the camera goes there. And Oops, stops, goes back, stops, goes up, goes forward, stops. So, uh, yep, goes back, stop, goes forward, stop, yep. Cool, um, but we could even draw where the It's actually a little bit too much to get into. Gizmos color color dot magenta, for instance. Gizmos draw line target position target position plus. Uh, let's have another. So for instance it's gonna be a three. This direction is gonna be always a three. It's target dot forward. Okay, this is the forward direction. Then we calculate the uh, 
the forward direction for the so if we have um, this here direction angle okay. direction from angle times given angle so basically it's this 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 very same uh, calx we're going to use here okay so we got it there and then we do um kismus.color for instance um red and kismus three direction is gonna be a calc direction from angle Do Christmas draw line target position target position plus the draw factor plus current direction. Okay, so basically what we're showing is the direction the player is actually looking at and the direction we're using to calculate the target. And uh Christmas um, color new color. 1.0, 0 0.2, 0 0.6, for instance, we have the sort of pinkish color, draw wire sphere around the um, current target, which uh, we're not storing anywhere, right? We should probably store somewhere. Let's call ideal target position. I still call it ideal because it's not ideal anymore. Yeah. Find target position. Which, uh, yeah. Which is what we are calculating here. So basically, we just. We're storing this uh, current target position. So that we can show it in the in the, in the debug drawing. No, uh, does not exist. That's right. Uh, if we change the name here, we have to change it here too. So, do you see? That's the position we're aiming at. And uh, you can see how this red, this red uh, direction, I think I'm gonna do something to this, uh, change this, the colors here, because um, yeah, yeah, this kind of, this will be red and this will be magenta. It's gonna make it a lot uh, simpler to understand. So basically, um, the red line is gonna is where the actual where the tongue is actually pointing at, and the magenta is where the camera is looking at the forward that is using to calculate the look at. You see, uh, so basically, it it is cool, but uh, the thing is that when it goes too far away from the from this point, kind of doesn't work very well, right? Okay, 
it's not working well. Mm. Not nice. Because it, when you go too far away, it kind of lose the tank from the side. And, and even though it's not too unpleasant when you go like this, but uh, yeah, let's try to let's try to avoid this. So what can we do about it? Well, we cannot be adding a maximum distance, as we said before. So the first thing is to declare that maximum distance. So basically, uh, we're gonna give it a default value of I don't know four. I don't know. Um, added, um, like, like sorted these variables a little better. I, I like to have things grouped as uh, by by uh, functionality, um, and I like to you know if there is enough groups to add some comments to say what each thing is doing. Sort of. I mean, I'm a firm believer in commenting the code. I'm heavily commenting the code. I am not heavily, but commenting the code so that it's pretty obvious what it's doing. I know there are some advantages and disadvantages, but I am, my experience uh, has proven me that, at least for me, it works pretty well. So, um, yeah. So we are going to add a maximum distance. Uh, so the way we're going to be um, representing this kittens color Red. Uh, well, let's, have, let's make it a little bit orangey. 1.0 and 0.5, 0, 0.0. And Gizmos draw wire sphere. Ideal pose and max this for ideal pose. So now. Now you see an orange ball around the ideal position. So when it goes, so if right now it is going on, I mean, let's make this smaller. Four is a little bit too big. Let's make it 2.5. Yeah. So it is, this is, this orange ball is um, soil where the, um, the, um, camera should be in always at all times should be within that uh, within that sphere let's um by the way uh, when we're trying, I'm gonna be making it smaller and instead of wire sphere let's make it a normal sphere I think it's gonna make more sense yeah makes more sense so yeah you can see that it is going out of this field a lot of times. So let's fix that. Oh, ah, uh, target. <laughs> yep, it is telling us that the tank doesn't have a target. The, the coin doesn't have a target. So, um,. Yeah, let's make sure that this position is within. So, change from that position. So, instead of doing that, let's do pause plus equals movement. So, right now we have the, the position here. We have to ensure that the 
um, position is within the right um, boundaries. We're gonna just update the ideal offset. And we're gonna um, but instead of, but we're gonna make it like that. Position minus the ideal position. Then we're gonna be a uh, clump in this offset. Clump in the offset means that we're gonna make sure that the uh, magnitude is within a certain limit. Um, we could uh, we could do it relatively easily. So if if so, the first thing is we're not going to be. I mean, we could do it with something like this. If ideal offset, the obscure magnitude, whatever. No. There is a function to do it, but I don't like to see to show to teach the function without teaching what it does internally mathematically okay so let's do it let's go uh, offset this is gonna be ideal offset secure magnitude if a secure offset this is bigger than max this from distance square then what we do is dot offset this it's gonna be math f secure t secure offset this Okay, so here what we're doing is, if we're further away than the maximum distance, we're using the square offset because so the square magnitude instead of the normal magnitude, because as we, um, as you may, as you all may know, uh, the uh, square magnitude is avoiding doing a square root, which we're doing here, but only when we really need it. Just to compare two distances, we don't need the the distances themselves. We can use the square of both of them. And if the square of one is bigger than the other, then it means that the distance of one is bigger than the other, and the other way around. So, um, and then we have to uh, change the size of the offset. So what we do is calculate the um, the current distance, which is this, and the maximum distance that we can have. Which is this, and then we um, we do this. So we multiply the offset, ideal offset, multiplied times the maximum distance for ideal pulse divided by the offset distance. So this is basically dividing by the offset distance is normalizing the the offset, and multiplying it times the maximum distance is making it as big as the maximum distance. So if we do both things uh, in one go, we get we get basically an offset that is the size of max ideal, max distance from ideal position. And then we just recalculate the position as the ideal position plus the ideal offset. Right? Because you know we calculate the, the ideal offset as the position minus the ideal offset. We just move it here. So let's see if it works. So sorry. Uh, yeah, it seems to be working, right? It's never going out of that sphere, is it?
So this is kind of working. Uh, we have a little bit of tilting when we're getting there. So there's a little bit of tilting, which um, we could avoid. Actually, we can, let's let's avoid this. Okay. Um. Anyway, the main target that we wanted is is we have already uh, we we have already achieved. Okay. So we have uh, constrained the movement of the camera within certain uh, distance. The only thing now is that um, I like the that sometimes. Tank moves weird. Uh, from where the tank is, is moving at sixty frames per second, and the camera is probably moving faster than that. And it's got so since it's moving, it's changing. So it's not. It's not. Right? So. Promise it's not um, sync with a with a with a camera with a target. If we just fix update, that we should probably fix that. Has to do with uh, with us making sure the tank is within um, the confines of what we have uh, placed. So we change it to two. Still by How much have we put it to? I'm just curious if we uh, set the time here to one six 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 um, in quality settings. Make sure we are uh, yeah, it's in count that review blank although this has not been hmm. this seems to be working better. a little bit okay I will I will think about this problem later um, I th it's it's most likely something to do with um, different um, updating of the physics and the and the camera but anyway um, Let's um, let's fix the problem of the uh, tilting first, because it makes sense to have it fixed first, since it's uh, pretty much it's pretty obvious when it's that is happening. So, why is the tilt happening? The tilt happens because the um, 
up vector for the camera is not uh, aligned with the up vector. It's not. It's not properly aligned. So these forward. Um, so this come up is not right. So instead of, we're here kind of generating the up vector, but this is not the actual up vector that we are going to be using. Uh, instead, this is the forward vector for the uh, offset. So we're going to call it forward as we're doing here. And we are going to be, um, instead of using this, we're going to be using 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. It's fixed. So we have fixed the tilting, which is good. But we're still having the problem of the uh, of the trembling. And that's uh, most likely due to the um to the the camera moving a little bit when the um, um when uh, when the tank is still still because it hasn't moved yet and then um and the uh, the, the the target but is the tank moving the tank is moving the update too isn't it so the problem is the tank is the tank is moving and the position is not updating properly. But I believe where the problem is. The problem is that the tank is moving after the camera has changed its position. So an easy way of fixing this is moving the camera to the late update. So if we have the camera in the late update, then everything happens right after the tank has moved. Yeah, and it's looking good, isn't it? Cool. So we with these, I think we have finished the camera. At least I'm I'm not gonna be doing any more um, camera tutorials here. There's lots of things that you can do with the camera. You can change the actual uh, offset of the camera based on the situation of the of the game. For instance, you may want to um, to have a uh, an offset for when it's moving and an offset for when it's still. And even an offset one for when it's aiming, if you had some sort of aiming thing, and uh, you could have like an offset that is further away when it's moving, and it's closer to the town when it's still, and then another one that is right on the uh, over the shoulder if it's aiming, or right on top of the of the turret in this case, or whatever. But we're not gonna be uh, doing that here. We're gonna be um, leaving it for um, for further tutorials or for, for you as, uh, to work on as an exercise. Um, I may be doing a little bit more on this project, yes, a little bit more, a ton more, like adding health and uh, and collisions to the tanks, and that's just going to be about it, not, not going to be doing more with this project, I'm going to be once the, uh, the tanks can die and and you know you can destroy tanks probably I'm, I'm not even I'm not gonna do a very complex game logic I'm gonna leave it uh, I'm gonna leave it here then we'll move to a new project where we where I will start again from scratch but with characters with characters that move that uh, that have animation and, and it, so we can we can work also on state machines and all the uh, movement 
basics and everything else. Uh, as I said, if, if you like this video, please uh, click the like button and I hope, you guys, I hope to see you guys again in the next video. Bye.